Uh, I'm Andrew with Air Comforts. Uh, thanks for watching. Today we're going to answer a question that we get every winter, all winter long, uh, from people who are uh, maybe a little bit unfamiliar with the way a heat pump system functions, or maybe you've had a heat pump system and just hadn't spent a lot of time around it uh, outside uh, when it's cold out. Uh, we're going to talk about the defrost cycle uh, and the process, the procedure it goes through to actually defrost a coil and what to expect and what you're going to see and what you're going to hear, the sight sounds and all the good things so that you don't think it's tore up and you need to call the people that installed it because it caught on fire. Alright, now uh, as you can see uh, with a heat pump running in cold weather it's going to frost up. The reason a heat pump system is an air conditioning system uh, functions just like an air conditioner in the summertime but in the winter the system will run just like it does in the summer with the exception that uh, instead of picking up the heat in your home and dumping that heat outside in the winter we're actually picking up heat outside and dumping that heat inside so we're it's the same process just in reverse and just like in the summer your indoor coil is cold and uh, pulls humidity out of the air as it runs the humidity comes in the form of water that has to be drained out there's a PVC drain that drains the water away from your indoor indoor unit if you have a split system like we have here uh, in the winter time that same humidity will be pulled out of the air it just comes in the form of frost on the outdoor coil which is the cold coil in in the winter season uh, the reason it's cold out here is because we're trying to pull heat out of the air that's where the heating comes from uh, with your heat pump system so if you see frost on the outdoor coil that is not a sign of any kind of failure or any kind of malfunction it's something that is it's natural to the process of by which it is heating and the colder it is, the more you'll see it, the more humid it is, the more frequently you will see it. Now, as the frost starts to build on the outdoor coil, it uh, eventually will become an issue because it will start to block the airflow that moves across it, uh, which will inhibit the absorption of heat, which is, you know, the heating process that we're trying to accomplish. So it, at some point, we're going to need to get that frost off to make it go away. Your heat pump system is it comes built with, designed into the engineering, a defrost cycle that the system will go through to remove that frost. And we're about to describe for you. The and system, show you. Has, we, it's been running for a while. It's, it's a cold day out, down into the 30s, or it's a cold night. Uh, it's humid, and we're starting to see some frost develop on the outdoor coil. Again, natural process of the heating process that it goes through. It's just condensation showing up on the coil because it's a cold coil in the form of frost. Now, we're waiting, we're going to watch, we're going to see what the system does when it goes through a defrost cycle, what to expect. You're going to see the outdoor fan shuts off, the system is going to switch over into cooling mode. It does that because in the cooling process, the outdoor coil becomes the hot coil. We've got our hot refrigerant circulating through this outdoor coil, that's going to melt the frost. We want the fan to not be running during that process because we don't want to pull the cold air across the coil while the hot refrigerant circulates through it. Just again, the process of getting the, the frost off. The sound you're going to hear, the loud whoosh sound, that's the reversing valve switching us over into cooling mode. Alright, so we'll keep watching and that will happen here in just a second. Okay, what we just heard, again, that, that sound was the reversing valve switching us over into cooling mode so that we got hot refrigerant circulating in the outdoor coil. Out. So as you can see, it really defrosted pretty quick. But it's going to run for a couple of minutes because uh, there's a defrost sensor that has to close in order for it to come out of the defrost cycle. All of the humidity that we saw in the form of frost is now water running off of the coil. It's going to kind of pull down towards the bottom. Again, the outdoor fan is off. You can hear the compressor running, 100% normal operation. This is part of the defrost cycle. That loud noise and the, the fan shutting off, normal operating procedure during a defrost cycle. When it comes out of its defrost cycle, we're gonna switch back over and the fan's gonna kick on and all of the frost that melted off is gonna come out. Hopefully we'll see it come out in the form of steam. Sometimes you'll, you'll see a big puff of steam, sometimes not. It just depends on the environmental circumstances at any given time. Uh, so here in just a minute, we'll watch the system as it comes out of its defrost cycle. Okay, well we heard the noise. 
we're going back into cooling mode our fan comes back on this time we didn't get the big puff of steam like we would have liked but if you see steam come out during your defrost cycle again that's 100 percent normal operating procedure for the defrost function on the heat pump system now for this coil to turn completely white again that's that's entirely normal that can be that can be 100 percent fine no no issue there if the if the frost builds up and builds up to the point where it's coming through the metal you, you may have an issue with your defrost cycle and you need to call someone to come check it out uh, other than that what you saw is what you get <laughs> i hope that helped answer some questions and for people unfamiliar that's a little bit of a tutorial education for you there thank you for watching again i'm andrew with air comfort